Okay, welcome back to Tony's Board Life. So I'm on to my next project. Uh, my next project is the 20th Air Force by Fortress Games. Um, it's a solitaire air game, uh, the bombing of Japan. So real quick, uh, kind of a brief overview. Uh, we have Japan, some major cities. Uh, we have minor cities as well. And these major cities right here. These are the ones that um, we are going to be going after to start off with. So if you kind of look at the map, and we'll zoom in here. So each of the cities has four different tracks here. So we have air production, oil, infrastructure, and housing. There's another track up here for in, um, in incendiary destruction. Um, and once we get to a certain point, um, in the game, we start trying to get this to 75% or completely destroyed. Um, so these are the tracks, and there are six cities. So we have Kobe, Osaka, uh, Nagoya, Yokohama, uh, Kawasaki, and Tokyo. So those are the major ones. Um, and we have uh, five different tracks here. So we have this track, right? Track 1 has Tokyo on it. Track 2 has Kawasaki and Yokohama on it. Track 3 has Nagoya. Track 4 has Osaka and Kobe. And Track 5 does not. So basically, we're going to try to knock out these cities to get to the minor cities, which are these, um, which are these other kind of, which are like, so this is a minor city right here. Now, we have some um, anti-aircraft information here, and we'll get into that. I'm not going to go through heavy rules, because um, it's very procedural, so once you start, it's pr uh, you get it going, and you can just follow, actually follow the rules through uh, with that. So, but what I wanted to do was do some setups. Now, I have pretty much so uh, clipped most of the counters, um, not all of them, uh, so there'll be some clipping as we go. Uh, but I wanted to kind of show you, so this uh, track right here, this is our turns. So we have 15 turns to destroy 15 minor cities. Okay, so that sounds like easy, but guess what? It's not. So we have our calendar dates here. We have our campaigns here. So not only are we going to have to worry about the cities, the minor cities, but we have these campaigns that we have to actually do or... Um, and that's what these campaign charts are here, and these can be taken off. So we have a mine lane campaign, we have a kamikaze base campaign, we have ports and Olympic prep. Now the Olympic prep, that's uh, Operation Olympic, uh, which would be the major industrialization uh, or invasion of Japan. So our goal is to not have that happen. <laughs> okay, and if you notice... That's kind of on these two right here. If at all, and when we get to it, if they, if any of these tracks get to defeat, you're defeated. So, not cool on that one. Uh, so, a couple of different things. We've got um, the green ones here are the Japanese. We have their strength and then um, what turn they come in on those. Uh, so, we've got that. Um, and then we have our... B-29 groups here. So these are air groups. So these are your Japanese air groups here. The S means we start out with them. So these all have four. And then we're going to go through the setup and then the first turn. The first turn uh, goes through the phase track. Goes through a phase track here. So um, it's, so we have, you know, ten different phases and we're going to go through those. The first turn starts on phase four, so there's a lot of stuff that we don't do. So we're going to do the setup. We have our overall Japanese industrial track. Though this will adjust uh, how many how many air units can get produced, um, uh, how many air units uh, combat factors can actually hurt you, and infrastructure to help repairs. Uh, you do have repairs on this. Um, then also there is some research here, so you get one research point per turn. Um, and, uh, as you go through the training, you get more research as you destroy major cities, you get more, and then that leads to the development of the atom bomb, uh, and then which you'll be able to use. Um, and then these are all the charts that I'll be using. I'm not going to spend too much time on the charts. Um, I just want you guys to, oh, there is a second bombing campaign. There it is. 
See, I was looking for something and then I found it. Okay, cool. Okay, so so basically in this case, we're going to go for the setup now. Uh, and the rules are pretty good. Um, the one nice thing is, is I will say the designer uh, has been very um, responsive to my inquiries when it comes to rules. Um, so like one of the things is why are they printed on the back? Well, to be honest with you, it's just easier to pick them up. And I have found immensely, that has been immensely important uh, to, to that. So it does actually make a pretty big difference. So with that. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna set up uh, game setup. So uh, we've got the damage tracks. I've, I've put them all, they're all on zero up here on the cities. They're all on zero, so there's been no damage to it. Uh, just like the main industry tracks over here, there's no damage on that as well. Um, the research counters, I kind of showed you uh, with that. Um, Turn counter, so we're going to start September 44, and we have until November uh, 45 uh, to complete the game. Play six uh, major city targets, so we can only bomb targets that are on the board. So in this case, as of right now, we can only bomb the six major cities. Once we hit a certain point with that, let's see if I turn that, if it'll help a little bit better. Uh, not really. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad. That's a little bit better. Um, so once we get to a certain point, we will do. We'll go through and, and take care of that. We'll go on to other things, um, but we we'll also have the bombing campaigns that we need to take care of as well. Uh, place major uh, did that as well. Um, okay, so first thing we need to do is we get these kind of research bonuses here. And they get randomized, so we're just going to flip these guys over. And they're going to get put, so we're going to mix them all up here. And this is where I'm going to do this. Okay, so we're going to mix these all up. I don't know where they are. I don't know which they are. And then we're going to place them on the particular tracks here. And once that cat track gets destroyed, we get to get whatever the bonus is on that. So the way it works out, one to two, one to two will be air. Is that one to two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not on housing um, because some of these will help you with the um, getting the incendiary. You can't adjust the housing. Um, well, you can, uh, but uh, I'll go through that. There's certain ways you can't. There's two levels. There's high level precision, high altitude precision and low altitude area bombing. In housing, you can only do the low area. And if you notice, the housing is generally the largest track on all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and do some rolling here uh, to get this set up Two. So we'll just grab this one, and it's gonna go on the air production. Next one, five, infrastructure. Six, infrastructure here. Seven, one, so that's air production. So we're just gonna put it right here. Mm, we'll put it on the air production side there. Next one, two, air production over in Osaka. And on Kobe, it's gonna be an infrastructure. Uh, yep, so we'll put that there. Oh, this one, this one we'll put right here. So. So, and then the incentives are right here. So we can ha add one training automatically. So these are instantly happen. Uh, one recon instantly, one incendiary instantly, and one of any of these three instantly if we need to. Um, and then the bomb duds. Now, to get really forward, we really want to go after the incendiary. <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. We really want to go after the incendiary to, to make it work. So, Okay, so now back to it. Okay. So we've got those on there. Now we need to place. Have we placed those yet? Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, place at start USSA forces. Okay, so that's this. So I was asking where do we put these? And he just, we just said here. Each has one squadron. So these are the squadrons right here. Um, and they add combat factors. They are also the first things to take damage. 
um, when we do take damage. So first couple of turns, I, I played this about I got halfway through. Uh, I feel comfortable enough to actually video it um, with it at this point. And so hopefully uh, if I do get them wrong, I do get things wrong, I do get things wrong. Um, I have to really counter go through the rules and play and make my mistakes uh, to really learn the game. So, okay. So, I have this set up. Okay, so. Okay, the so these are our starting groups, Japanese air groups right here, okay? So, place one four aircraft value counter and one two in each target track. So we need a four and a two in each target track. So we're just gonna go in order here. So a four and a two, four and a two, four and a two, four and a two, and a four and a two. Okay, so we did that. Uh, so we're gonna use the two group placement to actually put the rest of these on. So we'll just, uh, they'll be, it'll be randomized that way. And there is a chart here, uh, new group placement. That's what I'm going to be rolling on. So we've got that. So, uh, and I need my red. Okay. So we'll start from left to right. And mainly because this is kind of how you do it later on. Start from left to right. So this four. So one and one is one. So track one is right here. So that gets that one. Okay, so it's red one and green two. That's also a one. So track one's doing pretty good. Five and four is track three. This one right here. And finally, last one, four and four, four, Four is four, so this one's gonna go here. So I would have. <laughs> so what's kind of nice is that we have the air going in here, so this is not too bad to go after. Now we do have a anti-aircraft that kind of moves uh, each turn, and we place it just like we do that one. So two and five is four. So this four one, I'm just telling you, there's a lot here to go after. <laughs> Uh, this this one has a lot to go after. Uh, Tokyo has a lot to go after as well. And but as we can see, and I can tell you that a lot of the stuff that I have here really focuses on this track one, and I think mainly because it's Tokyo. Okay. So we took care of that. I do have we do have in turn order for the uh, uh, UA USAAF United States Army Air Force and then also the Japans, and then I have some other chits up here that you will get to when we need to with that. Okay. Um, we do have some twos for squadrons, so if you fill up all your squadrons, you can have, you can use ones, and then if you fill them all up and you need to add more, you can flip one over for a two. Um, I have found that that does not happen very often. Um, <laughs> it just does not work. It just isn't a big deal. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to start with uh, with turn one. We are all set up now at this point. Um, so a couple different things we got to go through here. So if you are on high altitude... You roll on this interception chart here for that. So if you notice, if you notice the high, you you have a very small capability of getting uh, the Imperial Japanese uh, Air Force as well, kind of going through it. So you have a five, which is half, and six is an all. Um, the other nice thing about the high altitude precision is that the anti-aircraft that you have to deal with here. So, if we, and I can tell you, I'm going to go after track two 
uh, because of only having only having two units here um, we're gonna go through there now once you get through uh, the high altitude here um, as long as you make it through as long as there's a bomber group um, and you'll see it it'll score a hit okay so if you're using the high altitude it is a hit now if you do the low you roll on and you get two um, you'll get two random hits so you can do more damage with one uh, but the thing is you may be running into uh, some of these guys here so the high altitude is pretty good now there are some that you actually have to do high or low altitude and they're listed here so our first bombing campaign which will come in a couple of turns will actually be the the, the uh, mines and it, it requires high altitude so um, I, I've got some tricks I've figured out on that one I will tell you I made it through to let's see where was I about uh, eight turn eight so I made it halfway through um, and I had not hit the point where I was going after the minor targets so this game I'll probably be a little bit more aggressive um, I'll probably do some more lower uh, attacks uh, and hopefully get get some of these uh, incendiaries uh, get the incendiary moving so that way um, once the incendiary once you're once you've uh, once you've in, killed off one of these they are permanently gone kind of but permanently gone and the city actually loses you know is only is 25 percent destroyed it only has 75 percent left um so to get the minor cities we have to get this all six of them either 100 percent or 75 actually 75 percent destroyed uh for that so basically three out of the four of these need to be gone on each of the cities. So we need to do some damage. Now the thing about the random is, is that you may get some areas that you've hit and have already destroyed. So that's kind of the way it is. So let's go ahead and set up a bombing campaign. So I am just going to take, we're going to do all low area here. So we're going to take all of these. Now you can have multiple targets and I'm going to... But I'm going to zoom in. You can have multiple targets here. Um, uh, but I'm going to take all 25 of this since I am doing low. So there's five per. We have five bombers. So five. So we're going to go after Kawasaki because it has, uh, yeah, the infrastructure is only four to get that percentage. So we're going to go after Kawasaki. So. So Kawasaki, we're right here. The infrastructure needs four hits on it to get this bonus. I want to get this bonus. Because I want to get the incendiary as soon as possible. So, okay. So, at this point, we're good. I, I, I've cleared, declared my mission. Now, I will have to see if these two guys intercept. Okay? So, I roll one die. Uh, so basically, something happens on a 2 to 6, uh, I roll a 2, okay? So only half. Now, how do you decide half? Well, if you have more than this, it's, it's I mean, you don't get to choose. You put the highest to the lowest combat factors, air combat factors, and then you go 1, 3, 5. That's how you, until you get through it. So we've got 4 coming in, okay? So you're like thinking, hey, 4 is not too bad. Okay, well, four, you'll see here. So we have four, we have five, so that's nine. And the AA for Kawasaki is three. So nine, 12. So we have our combat results table here. So the um, Japanese will be bombing on the 10. Now, the way this works out here is the number on the left is return to base which is this area right here, and the number on the right is destroyed, okay? So you always take care of your squadrons. So that's these white ones first, because if a group is destroyed, you have to spend your research points. You have to. It's not a choice. You have to spend your research points, at least two of them, bringing those groups back and not moving forward on your research. So... Uh, it can be very bad for that to happen. So, 
what we're going to do. And I, as the U.S. player, these are all five each. I have 25. So there is a 25 chart here. And we're going to be rolling on that. Maybe we can get rid of this group, although they do come back pretty quickly. Just saying. Especially earlier in the game. So well, let's go ahead. We're going to roll. Um, I can tell you I'm going to be doing some damage to Kawasaki. No doubt about it. But let's see how much damage I take. So these are simultaneous. And in this case, I know this is going to sound weird. Um, but the green, because the units are green here, the green is going to be the Japanese. And the red is going to be the U.S. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and roll. Okay. So two and five. So two for the Japanese on the 10 is one and one. So what we do, we take one squadron, it goes to return the base, we take the other squadron, and it goes in the dead pile. By the way, I just have a whole bunch of, you know, cuts for this. Now, five, oh, wait a second, I screwed that up. Uh, five on the 10, oh, it's still one and one. <laughs> okay, so five, five, so this is Japanese, 10 goes one to one. Two on the 25 is two units. Well, there's only one here. And here's the other thing is that they just get destroyed. They actually don't, uh, there's no return to base. So they just get destroyed. So I'm going to make, I make a little pile over here of, and so in that case, I make a little pile of dead units right there. Okay. So here we go. So did I make it through? Yes, I did. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's other modifiers, by the way, um, for uh, the air, but they're not, it's not going on right now. So when it happens, I will, I've forgotten that one many times playing this, uh, but when we get to it, I'll definitely show it up uh, and show it to you guys. So I've got a roll now on here, and I'm going to be rolling on the random table right here. So let's see here. I'm going to, Okay, so, and then as these go, I'm just going to pull them down off, actually off the screen so you guys don't have to see them. So, so the first one is a six, so that will be an I, which is infrastructure, which is what we want, and an H, which is housing, which is what we want. Okay, next one is a two, which is an air. Okay, so air destruction on Kawasaki and an infrastructure. Again, we want the infrastructure. Boom, nice. Okay, uh, we got three more hits. Let's see if we can get rid of that and get this bonus this time. Five is oil production and housing. Okay, we've got two more rolls here. Next one is a five again, so oil and housing. And then finally, this is the final one, which is a three, which is air and housing. Okay, well that kind of bums, that kind of sucks. Okay, well yeah, it is what it is, you know, it, it is what it is, so. Now, what's really nice is once I have the training done, or is it training or recon? Oh, uh, once I get the recon done, I'll actually be able to, um, it'll take, a couple of them have three hits on the chart. So, okay, so with that, our missions are done. So, now we have, um, basically, we score the campaigns, which we don't have any campaigns, we're not under victory. So, that's that. Now, what we have to do is we have to tally what happened here. Yeah, okay. Is we have to tally it over here. Because these gives you modif these give modifiers on both negative for the Japanese and basic it's negative for the Japanese uh, for you. So we took two hits on air. So one, two, 
So, in, and I'll show you this. So, they have to, uh, their air production is lifted to the five. Oil goes down two. So, oil will be okay. This is the one when you actually do interceptions, you actually will take, and if you can see down here, there's like negative numbers, you take that off the die, or off the combat, not off the die, off the combat. Infrastructure is going to be two as well. Uh, so that's minus one. So this is more repair. So when we do the repair, we're going to take one off the die roll with that. Okay, so we did the tally of that. And these can go up and down. So as they get repaired, if they don't get this, if not more gets destroyed, they can go up. So that, that's one of those things. Okay, now we need to do um, the um, manufacturing for um, the Japanese for their air units. Okay, so what we have to do is we need to uh, consult the Japanese industrial minus air production. So we are at a five air production. So uh, that's going to be this column right here, five air production. Okay, so we're going to roll a die on the five. So if we roll a die here. So we roll a two, two, so they're going to get three units. Okay. So first one, so they get three units. So the first one comes from the dead pile, which is right here. So this one right here gets goes from the dead pile. That's the one we just took out. And it must go to the weakest. Okay. To the weakest group. Okay, so the groups they'll come with in and, and I'm still I'm still going through the game uh learning it, but we go with the new group placement on this one. So it is a red five, so it's gonna go on the one. Now I can tell just from the lab, from playing this that these won't all be here, okay? So we're good to go there. Uh, so trust me, we won't have five in Tokyo. Okay, then squadrons. So remember it was a three, so we have to put squadrons in. So we're going to put squadrons in here. Okay, then squadrons which are attached to each time to the priority group. So the priority group... Is the group with the least attached squadrons. If a tie, it is the group with the highest air combat, combat factor, so that'll be the four. If it's tied, again, it's a group with the lowest track number, so where it's going to be the lower track number is going to be all one. So we're going to have a one here, and the one, it doesn't matter which one, they're all tied. So there we go. Okay, so we built that. Now we need to do our research. We get one point per turn automatically, and on our research, you'll see here that there's only one thing. That's how much it costs to go to the next one, um, so it's going to be this one, and at this point, yep, so that's that. Uh, our rebounds right here. So I've got one more turn to go, and then this will let me move this up to two turns. That's why I was hoping to get that extra one already. So we'll need to. So basically, your training needs to go up uh, with that. Uh, and I can't remember what the training mod. There's a modifier for training, and I can't quite remember which one it is. I'll have to look at that one. Okay. And it might be just getting the two points. Uh, getting them trained. Uh, I know reconnaissance has, uh, has you know, uh, the, the incendiaries has four steps, or one, two, three, and reconnaissance has two steps as well. And then, so once you get all these done, you're at four points. Well, then you're going to have to start doing major destruction. So, But right at this point, we are uh, still in the training set for the research box. Okay. So that's the research. Uh, we didn't lose any um, groups, so 
Uh, we're good. We lost squadrons, but not groups, so that, that makes a difference. Now we need to do bombing repair, which we basically just need to do major cities. Um, so roll a die against the major repair table, modifying the die results for the Japanese industrial infrastructure track, which is a minus one, like I had said before. So I need to roll a die. So a one, and I, yeah, so, so a one minus one is a zero. We're in early, so one point. Okay. Now we only get one point to repair or one level to repair. And I can tell you right now, it's going to be Kawasaki because it's the only one that's got any damage. Um, and so basically at this point, what you do is um, if there's any ones that are below the min, so if they're like this before they get destroyed, because before we get incendiaries, they just get, you bring them up to the min. So if they're already on the min, that's the first one. So I only get one point, so this is pretty easy. Then we're remaining repair points are applied one to the one city with the most eligible repair possibilities, which is this one, as measured by the number of space with that. Okay, apply apply repair points to the lowest leftmost track. Okay, so obviously the leftmost track, even though the housing has more, is oil. So we're that's gonna go up to one. So this is how it gets difficult is if you get some really good rolls on this and especially turn the midterm, you can get, uh, if you roll, if you haven't done enough damage, you can get five or six points that can really just go ahead and, and cause a whole bunch of difficulties and everything along those lines. So I don't know why Tokyo is all messed up. Probably my sleeve. <laughs> Okay, and then that's the end of turn one. We will now be on to turn two, uh, and I will be videoing that later. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, <coughs> look forward to getting back. Talk to you later. Bye.